get down? No. Otherwise, you got to be still so I can see. Okay. Now we're back on again. Sorry, y'all. I had internet issues. Hey, Josh. Welcome in. Um, so we've, we're in central Texas. We're in Austin and, oh, I can't even spell internet. <laughs> Darn autocorrect. Um, hey Ruby, happy Valentine's day. Thanks for popping in. Yeah. We're having some, um, ice and snow here in central Texas. And so the internet may be a little spotty because even our power is like starting to flicker. My co-host is here with me. Hopefully she sits down. Hey girl, we're supposed to be doing a drawing, so sit down. Um, I was about to go through, yes, your beautiful goddaughter. She wanted to be in the live and she's being extra busy. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, as I'm waiting for people to be able to join the live, I was going to go through a list of the top 20 um, Valentine's Day movies, according to Town & Country. Same here in Tennessee. Ooh, be safe. You want to do the Play-Doh? Okay. Hey, Jenna Nicole. Your husband's from the area where it pulled up? Oh, yeah. In Fort Worth. Yeah, that was terrifying. Well, I don't know if she's being a great co-host. She's doing a bunch of whining. <laughs> do you need to leave the live? Okay, well, you got to calm down. You want me to get that out? Harley, welcome to the live. Anybody who's come through that I missed, thanks for popping in. Just waiting for people to join in, and then we'll do a drawing here. Okay, so movie 20 of the top 20 Valentine's Day uh, movies is Pride and Prejudice with Kira Knightley. I haven't seen it, um, but I do remember hearing about it. Uh, that came out in 2005. Number 19 is Before Sunrise with Ethan Hawke. Hadn't heard that either. Hey, Unknown, welcome into the live. Come on, come on. Okay. Some of these I have not heard of. Um, number 18. Oh, it's sunny in Los Angeles. I'm so jealous. So jealous. It was sunny here. Like two weeks ago in 70. Now we are. Hold on, let me ask. Alexa, what's the current temperature? Twenty one degrees right now. And it's gonna be twelve degrees tonight. And the wind chill last I checked was seventeen. It's probably gonna be colder. Alexa, turn up your volume one level. And Alexa, what's the wind chill? Right now. The wind chill is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. 14. Oh. Degrees. Your wind chill is 16, Ruby, or you're actually 16 degrees? No, stop. Alexa, turn down your volume one level. It's raining and cold where you are. Oh, Harley. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Um, and you guys, just so that way you know, I am live streaming on Lula TV, which means I'm streaming on multiple platforms. So if you see me responding to comments that you can't see, it's probably because they're on YouTube, Instagram, or on TikTok. So those are the platforms I'm streaming on right now. Um, your parents are in Arkansas, says Tiffany on in Instagram. Um, and it's 19 there. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Emerald says we only got snow, no rain. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I don't even want it to snow, really. Okay. Um, number 18 of the top Valentine's Day movies is La La Land. You just looked up the stream name. Okay. Alexa, turn down your volume one level. I feel like I'm yelling. Okay. Now this movie I have heard number 17, The Notebook. I can't believe that's number 17. I mean, that's a really good movie. It's a tearjerker to me. Hey, Omer, welcome into the live. Just trying to kill a little bit of time before people join, to get people to join in. You had to rejoin in TikTok. That's cool. Hey, Benedict, happy Valentine's Day. I got my little co-host here. 
who will not sit still. It barely snows in North Carolina, but y'all can keep it. <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want it. Uh, yes, the notebook is a classic, Tiffany. I don't understand where they got this list from. Okay, then we have, you want that one? Okay, stop blocking mommy's face. Yes, I cried too. It was a beautiful movie, Jen. You're in Oklahoma, Emerald. How cold is it there? The notebook should have been top five. Unless I'm reading it in reverse order. But yeah, I agree. Uh, next one is The Thin Man from 1934. Never seen that. Hey, Shale, welcome in. Loving basketball. I'm about to find out. But since this is town and country mag, that's probably part of it. Let me see. Yeah, this. Okay, so this is town and country. So take this with a grain of salt because there's some weird titles on here. Okay, the next one is Romeo and Juliet in 1996. The one with... Um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. That actually was pretty good. I did like that one. Okay. Then, let's see, what was that? Okay, bye. My host is leaving. 18, 17, 16 was Romeo and Juliet. 15, Breathless from 1961. Uh, trying to see who's in it. I don't know who this is. I think it's a French movie. Hey guys, welcome into the live. We're going to do the ring light giveaway in just a few minutes. Um, I'm just killing some time for people to be able to join the live. Yeah, I did love Romeo and Juliet. The one with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. That is a good one. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I've never even heard of that movie. That came out in 2004. Never even heard of it. So anyway... Uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. I don't know if I necessarily would call that a romance, but anyway, yeah, the 1999 movie with Julia Stiles. It Happened One Night, a movie from 1934. So which one are we at? Where it's uh, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, number 11, Weekend. In 2011. I hadn't even heard of that either. Yes, you've heard of Weekend? Okay. Or, yeah. Okay. Well, good for y'all. <laughs> 10 Things I Hate About You. Okay, that one's a good one. Okay, all right. Well, maybe because I hadn't seen it. All right. Magic Mike is number 10. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Number nine is uh, Harold and Maude from 1971. And then Beginners, I'm looking to see if the wedding planner pop pops up, is number eight. The Beginners from 2010, never heard of that either. 27 dresses you guys are hoping. Let me see. <gasps> Love and Basketball did make the list. Love and Basketball, what was that? Um, seven. Number seven, Love and Basketball from 2000. You called it, Tiffany. Yeah. I think that was Tiffany who said that. Hold on, let me scroll back. Hold on, hold on. Yep, that was you, Tiffany. You called it, Love and Basketball. Number six, True Romance, the 1993 movie with, um, oh gosh, what's his name? I think it's Christian Bale. No. Who's in it then? My four-year-old who tells me no. He's a queen. He's a queen. Oh, my gosh. No, that one actually, I, even though it's a little like violent suspense thing, I would say, yeah, that's pretty spot on. That was pretty romantic. Um, number five, When Harry Met Sally. Finally, something I liked and watched over a hundred times. <laughs> If Tango and Cash isn't on their list, something is wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Elizabeth, welcome in. Um, the next one is an anime movie, The Howl's Moving Castle in 2004. Hadn't heard of it. Hey, Keep God First, welcome to the live. 
Then there's Moonrise Kingdom, number three, in 2012. I thought that was more of a comedy, but I've never seen it Mommy, either. So there we go. One more. One more? No, we got two more. Number two, Valentine's Day from 2010. Hey, thanks for coming in. And, and I'm going to do the drawing soon. And number one, the candy is the and oh, wait. No, that one was number one. So, Valentine's Day was number one. Moonrise Kingdom, number two. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, anime is not my thing either. So, okay. So, I tried to give some time for people to be able to come into the live. I'm not going to stay on too long. Those of you that are just now joining this live stream. Oh, thanks so much for the gifts. I appreciate it. The screen may be a little weird. Um, so if you're on TikTok or um, YouTube, depending on your device, if you flip your camera or flip your phone, I'll go widescreen. You have to flip it and then hit a little icon and I'll go widescreen. Um, and that's because I'm on Lula TV and Lula TV is a website that you can stream on multiple platforms. Yeah, Tiffany, I didn't know the majority of those either, but I know I'm not a big movie watcher. So those of you that like to watch movies, go for it. Hey, Michelle, welcome to the live. Hey, Laura, how are you? How are the kiddos? Sabrina, thanks for coming through. Just go for it, three. Welcome to the live. All right, so those of you that were not aware, I did a contest over the past three weeks where I invited you all to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. It's itchy as my co-hosts are busy, which is another reason why this lot's gonna be quick. Um, so I invited you all to follow me on all three of those platforms. Some of you may have also followed me on Likey, which wasn't necessarily a requirement. I'm also on there too. Um, but for each platform that you followed me on, I gave you an entry in to win a 10 inch ring light. Yes, you can flip the screen and type. It's so cool. I've actually looked at it myself and you can see the comments over to the little side. Um, so yeah, um, the reason why I wanted to do it is because a lot of people don't know that I'm on multiple platforms and I really wanted to spread that awareness. Plus you all are just so supportive of me so far on my journey to be on social media that I wanted to give something back. Um, so what I'm going to do is a drawing. I put everyone that followed me on each of those platforms and put in corporate mom. I put them on a spreadsheet. Yes, Ruby, good luck to everybody. Hold on. Hey, buddy. One second. I'm going to put myself on mute. Okay, so I put everyone on the spreadsheet. If you tag someone else and they also followed me as well, I put their name on the spreadsheet as well so that way they would get counted in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my Amazon dot give me a number at random. I'm going to pick that number on my spreadsheet. And I'm just going to give you all a sneak peek on my spreadsheet. See, I have everyone listed across all the platforms. I had 279 entries across all the platforms, which is so great. Thanks so much, guys, for your support. And thanks for those of you that said, hey, I don't want a ring light, but I want to support you. I know someone else who might need one or want one, and you tag them instead. So thanks for that, too. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to have my dot give me a random number. I'm going to say that person's name. They have 24 hours to get back in touch with me. So if they're not on live stream, I'm going to reach out to them. They have 24 hours to give me their mailing address. That way I can then have it shipped directly from Amazon to you. Um, if I don't hear from that person within 24 hours, I will do another random drawing and give it to that person. So hopefully <laughs> I hear back from the person or I don't have to do too many rounds of it. All right. Everybody cool with the rules and how it's going to go. All right, here we go. Drum roll. Alexa, give me. I'm the winner. No, no, me, I'm the winner. <laughs> no, you guys are not the winners. It's not you, my husband. As my husband and I'm son jumps winner. in and says that they're the winner. No, you're not. Yeah, Somebody I'm outside the, the house will win. Um, I'm the winner, Mom. No, you're not the winner of this contest. No, I'm the winner. Okay, drum roll again. Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 279. 
237 is my random number. Let's see. Tara Lick96, whose username is that I got from Instagram. So if you're on Instagram uh, and your user number is Tara Tara Lick. 96 they have 24 hours to claim their prize um hey tt you funny welcome to the live so yeah if for some reason tara lick does not get back to me with their mailing address so that way i can send them their thing on amazon i will do another random selection and it will be that next person that designer over there. Oh my gosh. I hope you are staying safe and warm. I know you guys are like getting a lot of snow in Fort Worth. Okay. So that's it. Once again, thanks so much. Um, you guys for being so supportive. If you are not yet following me on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, uh, please do so. Um, on all of those social media platforms, my username is corporate mom, except for on IG. If I can spell my name, C O R. Corporate mom, except on IG, it is corp underscore mom. So this was a lot of fun. I do plan on doing another contest at some point um, in the future. So um, keep your eyes peeled for what I decide to do next. I may do like like a cash app thing. I saw someone do cash app. I was like, that seems so much easier. Like you just send them cash. So anyway, so for now, that's who we have. Tara Lake 96. Thanks again. I hope you guys are having a great Valentine's Day. Enjoying the time for yourself and relaxing. Hey, Wendy, I'm good. How are you? Um, and if you are getting this winter storm, I hope you guys are staying in, staying warm, staying safe. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Hey, I'm at Miss America. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up because like I said before, we've had our lights flickering and my internet already cut out on the live. So I don't want it to do again. From my co-host, do you want to tell everybody bye? Bye. Thanks for coming on. You tell them thanks for coming on. All right. Y'all have a great Sunday evening. Okay. Yeah, they're leaving. Hi. 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 Oh, Josh says he doesn't plan on going to work tomorrow. Hey, Miss Vienna Sausage, if she can see us. This is his ending. Thank you.